Okay, today's session is about taping the sports ankle. So for ankles that have had a sprain, so a lateral ligament sprain, we're going to look at trying to stabilize this ATFL, this anterior tibial ligament, so this one here. So with my patient here, what's happened is she has rolled her ankle that way, so she's gone into inversion and sprained her lateral side of her ankle. And so this ligament here has been torn a little bit, and we need to stabilize it up for her to be able to do some sport work on it. So what we're trying to aim to do is teach you how to tape an ankle to stabilize this side. And for this injury, she's also actually damaged this ligament as well. She's gone and compressed that side, and she's pretty tender there as well. So we're going to stabilize both sides and show you what you need to do for this. So if you can imagine, what you need to start with is an ankle that's nice and clean. Now, if you guys can, what you need is you need a bit of a, a kit. You need something like this, which is tape remover to clean the skin, especially if it's greasy. You also need um, some Therafix or some sort of porous underwrap. Now, this stuff is great for people who get um, rashes to tape. Now, usually we don't need this. We only need your rigid tape, which has got a serrated edge. That's got a, that's a nice serrated edge so you can rip it, okay? That stuff is zinc oxide tape. Now, skin doesn't like that, but normally that's only on the skin for about three hours when you're playing sports. So put that on, no problems. But for this one, we want her taped for the whole time for about three days. The skin's gonna get pretty gnarly if you have that on for three days. So we're gonna have some under wrap, okay? And you need some decent scissors. And I don't mean sort of uh, normal scissors, I mean some decent scissors to cut tape. These are some kinesia scissors, so these are, these are awesomely sharp, these ones. Um, so if you can get yourself hands of that, great. So right, here's some strips I've cut earlier. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, pre-wrap the tape. So we're going to use some hypoallergenic tape. Just keep your foot up there, my dear. You can see she's got, a, she's got a bit of a blister on her toe, this one, but that's okay. What I want you to aim for is keeping that foot in zero degrees dorsiflexion, or like a 90 degree angle here. And she needs to keep that there with her tib ant. And you're going to cover all the areas that the brown tape, or the, the flesh kind of tape, is going to be in contact with. So you, you're basically putting a barrier, and this is a porous tape. This is a barrier between the brown tape and the skin. And you just need to make sure it's going to cover, it's going to go high enough up the calf. Okay, and I would aim to have, this is 50 mil tape by the way, so 50, 50 mil this way. I would have half it on this side and then you're going to cover the other half at the front. So half over the fibula, lateral malleolus, the other half coming through the front. It just gives you enough coverage for the skin. Try not to get any crinkles in it. That can irritate the skin a bit. It doesn't feel too nice when you've got crinkles when you're trying to run around the, on the sports field. And so keep it 90 degrees, getting it up into there. You can be pretty pretty quick with this. The main taping is what you've got to be slow and precise with. So that's covering your areas that are going to be stirrups. Then you've got to cover some more area through the front. I like just actually, if you don't mind wasting a bit of tape, I like doing this where you're going to go in the region where you're going to tape it. So for this one, now this is mimicking what I'm going to be doing with an ankle lock. So coming from the front on a 45 degree angle, going around the back of the calf, so the back of the Achilles, making sure it doesn't crinkle. So when you come here, you see how it's pretty sticky this stuff. When you come into this point, what you're aiming for is making sure that when you come around, it's on a 45 degree angle there. Don't get that crinkle like I just did there. Okay, so that's coming around there. And then you can just sort of even off around there. That doesn't really matter too much because we're gonna add some more up this is where your scissors come in handy. Switching that off there. Throw that bit away. You're going to add some more to cover the rest parts of the skin. So just grab a bit for the front, front of the shin there. Remember, this is hypoallergenic tape. It's got a nice porous feel to it. And, but even being on the skin for more than three days, some people can still get a rash this, and this is if, if you one of those people that gets a rash to even this tape, I recommend you use a foam under wrap, which is <clears throat> which is this stuff. So it's 
the foamy stuff and that's that, that's not as great because it's not as rigid but hey if you're getting rashes you're going to have to use that and then don't forget the back a lot of people will tape up their ankle and they'll miss a little bit of skin right on where that Achilles is and that's where they get the rash and they have to take all that tape off so come around this side just making sure you sort of almost put it down like a bit of sellotape and then round the back of the round the back of the calf there but just be careful with the heel too make sure it's not too bunched up around there and you'll see we've met it on this side perfect up into there okay and I can see she's just missed one bit I'm being pretty pedantic about this but I don't want her getting a rash of that tape so we're going to cover it fully up and that's beautiful okay so she's got most of her ankle tape it looks like it's sort of in plaster a bit that's going to be really helpful for her when she is uh, having this tape on for three days let me just put one on there with you. okay perfect so back into here so taping now it is hard doing this yourself so this is why we're doing a video of this so you can get someone else to do it because otherwise you need about four hands with this tape you want to get the full length out of that roll really or at least three quarters of that length start off now sometimes you can put a lock on here we've already got tape here so we've got something to grip on if you haven't got tape you'd put a you put a lock on at the start we don't really need to do that so we're going to come in from the top here now this part here you've already got to anchor down okay so I'm on the back side of that malleolus I've got my ankle at 90 degrees and what we're aiming to do hold it there and pull it tight so it's taut down there Okay, just get it vertically down there. This is called a stirrup. Stirrup number one. And you come up to the same length at the top there. Okay, so hold it there. Just on this side, just push that down. Okay, so it's really nice and tight down through there. And this is the trick here. She's at 90 degrees. If you watch this, you watch the ankle, I can just gauge how much leverage I want. If I really want to ram her up into version I can do that or if I just keep her neutral a bit of tension on and then I push it down above the lateral malleolus okay really get that down and then push it down below the lateral malleolus so it's really taut over the now this is perfect for your lateral ligament sprains this one here you have to do it for your ATFL or your anterior talar fib but it's really good for your lateral ligament here and then you do another one and this is going over half over, so half over the first one. Does that make sense? So here, if you look at that, I'm not going here, I'm going half over. So I'm reinforcing, come up in here, right here, reinforcing the middle part of that, which is over the bulk of the malleolus. Really good for this deltoid ligament here. And then coming up here, the second stirrup. And getting it, yeah, that's it. Getting it to make sure she's not too far into dorsiflexion, just zero. Putting that tight, locking it down, and there you go. Okay, so that's your stirrups. And then you need to, for an ATFL sprain, this is good for lateral. So she sees she sees locked there. She can't move that now, but I can still move her that way. So I want to stop that movement as well because we don't want her rolling into inversion. So another one starts. Again, you've seen this part here. We've already seen, you can see where I'm going to start on that 45 degree angle. It's about sort of a third of the way up the tibia there. And I would come about there. So what's happening is you, there's your lock point. Lift your foot up. Make sure you use dorsiflexion. Coming above the lateral malleoli. Round, now it doesn't have to be taut. This is just normal tension above the heel. So around the back of the Achilles. So when you come around this way, you're on a 45 degree angle on the medial side of the calcaneus okay and that gives me something to lock okay so trying to get that subtalar lock and when I come around here you've got to make sure you miss the first met a fifth met I should say there's the fifth met starting there you can't come over that's gonna hurt so route just follow where the stirrups are normal tension and here's the point where you're gonna crank so from here what I want to do Get really nice and no no crinkles. 
get that foot in 90 degrees and I'm going to tighten up over there down it goes okay and what this is going to if you watch this she can't move now that's really going to stop her rolling her ankle she just there's a little bit of give because tape moves on the skin but it's going to really stop that movement give her a lot more support she's going to feel a lot better when she's running around the netball court or the footy field or whatever you're doing now just to add on this one, so that's for a lateral ligament sprain. If you've got a deltoid problem over here, or you've had some bony contusion over here, which is a bit of a problem, you can also go the other way. So I would just go 45, exactly the opposite of what you just did. Throw it around there. Try and follow the same 45 degree angle. Now this one doesn't need too much. Just coming up. And this is the one you've got to be careful of. If you come too hard over this tibialis anterior tendon, it's going to start causing blisters, and you don't want to do that. So you want to sort of pull up into there, so you can see how I'm, I'm, I'm basically reinforcing it to stop it rolling in. Once you get to there, then slacken off a little bit. So you're not too taut over that tibialis anterior muscle, otherwise she's going to come back and she's going to say, I've got a massive blister and I can't tape anymore. So there's your lock. Few pointers for this one. If this starts getting irritable, split the tape. If people don't like it, sometimes they come into dorsiflexion, they don't like it, split the tape. Make sure though you lock off the top. So if you lift your heel up, what I like doing is locking off the top. Okay, this does not need to be tight. You cannot cut off the calf. Okay, so that is just normal. No tension on that. And for people playing sports, so this is good for walking. So if people playing sport, I tend to get another one just just in here just reinforces a little bit more. Okay, and then you have